Good morning, friends. It's day 335. I am happy to tell you that I got back on the scale and I am my proverbial 20 pounds down. So whatever I went up, now I'm back <laughs> to kind of my starting range of where I stick and stay. Um, I'm hoping to stay here through the new year and then I'm hoping to do the proverbial new year reset and um, try to get some of the vegan junk food out of my diet and really focus on eating and all of that. Um, and just to catch you up a little bit, um, my grandma has passed away um, and I am her decision maker. So um, it's been a little bit of a dicey week. Um, she got sick at the beginning of last week while well, she's been on and off. They had told us a few weeks ago to start thinking about saying our goodbyes because we were <clears throat> transitioning there. So it's not entirely surprising, um, but it is... You know, I learned with my grandpa, I was so ready for him to go and stop suffering and, um, it, it did hit me harder than I expected. So, um, I think losing two dogs and two grandparents, you know, in the last nine months has been a little rough. Um, but uh, for the rest of my business trip, I tried to move when I could, um, I try to do a little classical stretch, not like a whole workout, just some moves to kind of, um, you know, stretch out and move because I was sitting in meetings all day. Um, I did have the time of my life. I loved it. Of course, I was shadowing, so, you know, none of the burden was on me. So I'm not delusional to think that it's always going to be this much. But, um, you know, getting gifted the tickets to go into Broadway and driving in by myself and going to a show by myself and, you know, seeing the tree and all of that, it did leave me feel empowered. So I was glad for all of that. Um, glad to get home. I spent some time with my husband and then, um, I've been gifted a little time when fall, I was supposed to take care of the babies on Saturday. And so I had a bereavement day because, um, she actually passed on Friday night late, and so I had to go to the nursing home and, you know, kind of do the stuff with giving consent to release her and all of that. So, um, I did take care of that, and then, so, there was no way that I was going to be up at 5 a.m. and working, so I took my bereavement day, and it ended up being a good thing because I got to, um, spend some time with my mom, um, and support her. So that was good, um, because it was her mom. And then, um, I was able to go to my niece's basketball game. And then I had already planned to go to my niece's recital. If by some luck I got canceled, I just kind of forgot about it. So it was like kind of a last minute thing. I was scrambling, like what time is it? And trying to work out the logistics of, um, and it ended up working that my mom was able to drop me off. And then my dad was able to take me to where my mom was. Cause they're not, <laughs> they're, they're, they were divorced. So they're, but you know, it worked out that they were able to do that. Um, so it was good to see all of my family. And then yesterday I went to church and, um, really to see my brother and see how he was doing. And, um, uh, and spend some time with, um, my niece and, um, pretty soon I hope that I have another surprise that I can tell you about. I don't think they've officially announced it, so I can't, you know, it's not my secret to tell, but, um, so she was, when I was little, um, I would climb up my dad's legs and flip over. And like when he was talking, I would stand and do this for probably who knows, um, cause he could talk for hours, but I would just stand up and flimp and I was little and he was tall. Um, I was always on the short side. So I did this probably till I was five or six years old. And so I probably did it a zillion times, but it was one of my favorite things to do. So, um, my niece is really little and I'm still very short, so it'll be a short amount of time, but I was able to, um, let her climb up me and flip over. So there was that. And then going to um, my niece's dance recital on Saturday, it really reminded me of my Aunt Mindy. Like she would come, I didn't do much, but I was in choir. And so she would come to my performances and things. So it made me think of her in this time of loss. So I don't know how much I'll be filming right now, but I am trying to stay on track. So um, just doing the best I can through the rest of the year. So I wish you happy holidays. 
um, my gratitudes for today are um, time with family, good memories, and just um, I know yesterday being in my husband's arms, I mean, that's where I feel like I'm home, and so I'm grateful for that. So, um, I'll leave you with our madness. May we be happy, may we be healthy, may we be at peace, and may we be loved. I'll see you soon.